It's now time, uh, we're posting this the morning after, but it's now time for coffee. So I have showed you uh, several videos of automatic espresso machines, but tonight we're gonna use a traditional caffettiera, mocha in Italian, which is a traditional espresso coffee pot. So one of the most important things to remember about making coffee in one of these stainless steel vessels is you wanna use very cold water, okay? So we're gonna fill it with very cold water. Okay, we filled it. And then we're gonna put the filter on top, okay? And then we're gonna fill it with espresso ground coffee, which means the coffee, get a close-up layer. We're gonna fill it with very fine ground espresso coffee. This is Lavazza, which is one of Italy's preferred brands of coffee. Oops, I spilt a little bit, that's okay. You never wanna pack this in. You always wanna build a little mountain like this, okay? And then you close it with the top of the chamber and it'll automatically pack it down. You don't wanna press it down with your spoon. It doesn't make the best coffee. And then you put this on heat. And we're gonna turn that on high. We had a delicious dinner. Check out the previous video to find out how to make these delicious uh, side dishes. And now, my good friend Lair and our weekly video cameraman, our cinematographer, brought these Mrs. Thinster's cookies. Apparently there are some toasted coconut thin cookies. And we're gonna have Andrea's, my cousin, who arrived from Italy last night, his reaction to these cookies. We're gonna open these right now. This is live. Well, it's live right now, but tomorrow morning it'll be about <laughs> 10 hours later. <laughs> Cause we're so tired. We've been doing so much, but Andrea, come. We're gonna open Hi. these. <clears throat> now, you told me that you like coconut, right? Yes. Okay. So Larry brought these cookies. Okay. Beautifully packaged in this, in this container. I had these at a st wait, <laughs> wait. Non si tocca. I'm curious. <laughs> Sorry, I'm curious. Don't touch. Okay. Uh, until I'm done talking. <laughs> yeah. But these cookies are available where, Lair? Sam's Club and Costco. Sam's Club or Costco. Uh, I tried one last week. I almost died right in the aisle. <laughs> Io quasi quasi ho mor mi son mi sono ammazzato nel <laughs> nel negozio. Perché erano così gustosi. Uh, they are tasty. Yeah, they're very tasty. I almost died. <laughs> they're that good. <laughs> so he had two. I had two. Uh, avevo due. Okay. Le ho mangiato perché in questi negozi ti fanno delle offerte di assaggiare. They promote their. Uh, they yes. promote their product. They promote their products by uh, samples. giving samples. Yes. Uh, samples. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and reach in. And I want you to taste it and be very honest. Okay. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's not your flavor. It's not I love coconut, one. but... And you love coconut, which you told us. Yes. So, first, a little scent. Do you smell the coconut? Yes. Okay. It, it smells good. It smells good, yes. Yeah. Wait till you eat it, you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> not literally. <laughs> We say that in America a lot. We say that you're gonna die. Yes, you're gonna die. yes um, in Italy we say it's, um, um, è la morte sua, per esempio. Um, because it's so good. Yes. Um, it's like, say, in Italy, they have a similar expression that says, it's your death, when something is so good. If you hear cats, we're adjusting some cats right now. <laughs> They're doing okay. They're doing great. <laughs> I am a tired ass mommy. Okay, have a cookie. It's good, right? It's good. You wouldn't think that a dry, flat, bland cookie would be so good. <laughs> they are crun crunchy. Okay, yeah. Crunchy, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm. That's so damn good. Mm. The coffee's ready. You can smell, see that steam coming up? That is the coffee aroma. That's how we finish dinner in Italy. We have an espresso to digest. And I have little cups, little demi-tasse cups. 
And when you finish eating in Italy, you have an espresso. Just a little bit. And it helps you digest your big meal. Right, Andrea? Is that why we have coffee? Mm -hmm. Why do Italians have espresso coffee after they eat? I'm sorry, I know I'm sorry. Why okay. do Italian people okay. have espresso coffee mm -hmm. after they eat? The dinner, after the dinner. Dopo mangiare. Yes, dopo mangiare. Why do... Perché, perché beviamo in Italia il caffè? Un caffè così bello stretto nelle, nelle tazze? Because... Dopo che si mangia. Why? Because in Italy, yeah. the coffee yeah. is um, after the dinner. After obviously, dinner, right. Obviously, is a pleasure. It's okay. a pleasure. It's a moment of relax. Of okay. relaxation. You, you can... Um, so, Savor? No. No. Um, so, <laughs> sip. Mm, sip. See, you see, so sip, jar. Like, s taste. Taste, sip. taste the aroma of the coffee. Of the coffee. Ah, oh, so good. Here. Do you want to taste sugar? It? Yes. Yes, okay. okay, hold on. I'm going to be transferring this sugar into a mason jar, which I will put a mason jar cap on. If you want to buy a mason jar cap, they are available at, at uh, bocafuda.com slash shop. Okay, prendi il cucchiaino. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Right. Yes, it's good. This one? Alright, uh, quanto zucchero? Two cups. Like two this? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? No, two tablespoons. Uh, two... Oh my god. No. <laughs> I two, don't, two I, little spoons. Yes, okay. So I think that's like this much. Yes. All right. Two of this. Yes. Yeah, put that in there. We're going to start. I don't use sugar in my coffee. I've lost about 80 pounds in uh, the past almost four years, and I've maintained it. One of my secrets is by not putting sugar in anything that I drink or eat, for the most part. Do you hear those cats? They are adjusting. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> All right. In Italy, a couple of things. They always stir the coffee, I've noticed, when I've been to Italy. They stir the coffee before they serve it to you. They put the sugar. It's very, like, in Italy, it's very courteous. In Italy, it's cortesia. Yes. That they, like, put the sugar and stir it. This is yours. Thank you. All right. And I don't use sugar because this is one way that I avoid extra calories. Chin chi. Chin chi. <laughs> so that is a traditional Italian espresso after dinner. It helps you digest. Per Andrea, it helps you relax. Yes. We had some cookie thins from Mrs. Thinster's coconut, toasted coconut. They're delicious, available at Sam's Club and uh, Costco. Really good. Did you like them? What did you think? Yes. Can, can you give us, before we close, give us a little a little something about your thoughts of these cookies? My impression of these your cookies. Your impression of the cookies. Um, they are different. In, in Italy, you, you can um, find these. Yeah. Um, in this manner. In questa maniera. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, the cookies um, are with the um, coconut. Uh, oh, they're shaped. It's shaped coconut on top of on top. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So these are a little bit different. They're really thin. There are no artificial ingredients. It contains no. It does contain tree nuts. So if you're allergic to tree nuts, I'm sorry. Uh, no GMOs. No GMOs and no corn syrup. I was explaining to Andrea how. As an American culture, we're obsessed with corn syrup. I personally read all ingredients. I, I, I don't know if there's anything wrong with corn syrup, but it's sugar, so I try to avoid it. And this has no corn syrup, no GMOs. It does have tree nuts, obviously. Duh, Mrs. Finster, a coconut grows on a tree and it's a nut. They're freaking delicious, they're so good. I could eat a million of these. Andrea, I think I'm gonna go to bed with this. Mm -hmm. Vado a <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed with these bag of cookies because it's freaking 